Wow, Jerry, what an experience. We just went to your creek and we saw the Mayan ball game called Pok Ta Pok. And from, we saw the, what do you call it? The, the Ek Balang Pok Ta Pok yes. team. Yes, but we are still in the Orange Walk district in yes. Northern Belize. Exactly. Where are we now? We're in the village of San Lazaro and we're about to visit a Maya Mestizo Museum. And I'm so excited. It's called Ushanmu. Yashkash. So Belize. Mekwego. Yeah, oh my God, really, yeah. oh, so wow. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Sean. Hugo Carrillo. Hi, nice to meet you, Jer. Jer, welcome. Where, where are we again? Uchanmul Yashkash. Wow, I can't wait to enter. So with that, we shall say Belize. Mekwego. How do you say that in Maya? Kosh. Kosh. Mekwego Belize. Mekwego Belize. Kosh. Uchanmul Yashkash. We are going to promote, preserve the Maya Mestizo culture. Have the pre Hispanic, the Khas War, and then the Maya Mestizo as a result of the Khas War here in the northern part of Belize. This is a replica of a Mayan temple, but it's the Maya temple of the lowlands in this part of the country. Okay. So you will see the forest on top of the temple. It will not, it's like I said, it's a replica. All right? mm -hmm. Many times we visit the, the different historical sites where the, the um, debris, the trees have been cut down there and they're excavated. But this is a replica of a um, Mayan temple under the forest after so many years of the Mayas living here in Belize. So, um, there's one word in Maya I have learned. Kosh. Kosh. Let's go. Vamos. I hope I learn more before we leave. Sure, sure. Definitely. Here, this is Mr. Pedro Carrillo. Mr. Pedro Carrillo. Nice to meet you, sir. Pichabel. Pichabel. What does me know? How are you? How are you? This is Jer. My name is Incaba Pedro Carrillo. Incaba. Incaba Pedro Carrillo. Nice Hello, in Ivo. This is your son, and I am Pedro Carrillo. That's what you said. Our family. Our yes. family. Yes. Nice to meet you. How do you say nice to meet you? Tene Alegrin. Tene And here. This is a little typical hut, the resemblance. Right now, with the boom of the cane industry, many of the houses, they don't exist. So we say it is important to highlight the way how our fathers used to live. And mm, corn. Corn porridge. Is that called atole? Uh, no? Si. Atole. You can go ahead, taste it, mm -hmm. be my guest. Here, it's healthy. This one is the chaya. Chaya. You go ahead, go ahead. Thank you. Mm. It's refreshing. So, mm -hmm. like a traditional Himayan house, usually it's built of the little sticks. The wano and you will see it's not squared. All right? Hmm. This I want to see. We have What's the there? The beans. We have black corn, beans. Black beans. The red beans. There's the other type of beans, the pinto beans. But usually what we're depicting here is the, the food. The food. Mm -hmm. A lot of beans. We have habanero. We have the corn. Staple of the diet is corn. Yes. yes.
she's keeping the garden clean. I like her broom. I the know, broom, very traditional small. broom there. Okay. Here are these. You ready? Yeah. We have different sections with different areas. And we go to the area where we have the Mayas. This part is reserved where we are showcasing the Mayas. Here we have the different stones yes. used for your weapons. A lot of people know here in the north or the different areas they would call it a cheetah. A, a cheetah. A cheetah. A little, small little axe. And these go in the bamboo? And uh, these, are, these are just replicas, but they use the different sticks okay. and they used to put them. These are just the replicas there. Okay? Uh, this is a small. This is a drum. Drum? Tumkul. Tumkul. The tumkul. And. The maracas. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. This one here is a small little flute. Ooh. Okay. And here we are developing the, the small tomb. Yep. Okay. As I mentioned, uh, this will be where students come, different uh, different people come in and they would say, you know, we will have an idea why we don't do this. Right. So their ideas, they're welcome. Whatever they want to do, we, we, we try to work with them. Like I said, we, are, we will not limit to nobody. You have an idea, it relates to it, we're going to work on it. Salush. Here. <laughs> this was from the Chicleros. Aha! Uh -huh. oh. No, we're getting into interesting things. Okay. This is from the Chicleros. Chiclero! This is the bag. That they collected all the After stuff in? Usually they had a little small bag, right? Why? No. <laughs> I want to see this. This one here. It's this cool. is like what the BL man with the lampos. Yes, Spur. Yes. Mm -hmm. so put it on your boots. Yeah. And arriba. Wow. And they put the... This. After the, the chicle run down from the bark to the little bag, this is the bigger one. All right, this one you take it, as you see, see? Su nombre le llaman Chibo. Chibo! And um, <laughs> I just want to, to inform you that here, yes. we are on a small little trail. Okay. Okay? And a lot of people here in the community, uh, they have seen it. They have heard it. Some of them end two or three days with fever. Mm-hmm. So what we're talking about, right? I think so. The alush? Yes. The what? The alush. I don't know the what little, that is. The little alushito. That's so thing, maybe eh? the little the guy man. here. Ah, the <laughs> little... Aha. <laughs> <laughs> <My. laughs> uh -huh. You're here. Tú sacas la bella. Ah. ¿Dónde vive usted ahorita? En Belice o Corozal? So... Dangriga. Dangriga. Corn and Antes que tú llegues, ya llegó. Yeah. <laughs> so, you have to give him the corn and porridge so that he... He stays away, or why? Why do you give him this? Okay, as part of the folklore, there to Very start with, a lot of people say that he's mischievous. Uh -huh. Okay, and he will whistle, he will stone you, but oh, also he's oh. a guardian. Watch out. <laughs> he's a guardian of the keen fields, and many people believe that you know, as the guardian, is protecting. Mm -hmm. But if we want to go to the deep history, people. You are the, the Lord, your Lord. So you give him life. Okay? So here's that's an offering for him. What's his name again? The little Alushito. Alushito. Alush. 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 First time I hear about Alush, boy. Never heard about so Alush. Tell maybe me. You want to take yeah, a little Alush picture of him? Alush. Sure. No puedes hablar mal de él. Uh huh. He will stone mm. you. Uh -huh. Ay, ay, ay. On the road? Ay. <laughs> so the road. he'll whistle at you? Uh huh. I don't want to make fun of the Alush. <laughs> Hmm. 
Okay, so we just finished wrapping up an excellent tour, an excellent Maya Mestizo tour with Mr. Carrillo. And I mean, the amount of historical facts, the amount that we have learned today is incredible. Can you please tell us a little bit more about the Festival del Pueblo? Yes, thank you. Um, to start with, the genesis of the Festival del Pueblo started like six years ago. We saw that our culture, our folklore, our beliefs, we need to preserve them. Right. We need to educate. We need to pass it on to other generations. And that was one, the reason why we started it. Two, we saw we have a lot of ties, a lot of relationship because the cost war, the massive migration in the north, and a lot of our people, they don't know. They don't know it. Because if we see also more in Central America, they have been guerrillas. A lot of them have migrated to Belize. Mm -hmm. And this migration continues. So on our term, our period, we need to we need to teach our young kids, our generation, how we came this way. Okay? We need to teach them about the hero Marcos Canul. We need to teach them about the history that has been written, has been experienced, has been lived by our Belizean survivors and not other authors. Mm -hmm. Right. And this is very important, it's very essential to do research. So here we are going to have also a resource center where you can guys can come and find that information. Thank you. That sounds extremely interesting. I hope that you know a lot of people come to visit and really learn because you know we're enriching ourselves with Definitely. information with our own culture. The way you speak, sir, I hear the passion. You don't have yes. to tell me, and I have to <laughs> ask you that question. You have passion, and it was great. That's that's mm -hmm. impressive. This you cannot leave. <laughs> Ochan Mur Yashkash. Hmm. We give you a little gift oh, here. Thank you. And this is for you. Thank you, you very much. You made my day. My okay, own so little leg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank thing, you. Uh, thank you. You cannot take a little of water, just a little bit of there. No problem. But this is well, beautiful. Thank you very much. And one final question. Yes. Because we <laughs> experience it and this is a traveling show and we promote the Belizeans. How can Belizeans find you? You can come to Orange Walk. From Orange Walk is only about 15 minutes. The okay. community of San Lazaro. Yes. We are on the Sugar Belt. And this was an old road that Marcos Canul what? used <laughs> to go across to the Rio Hondo. Wow. So it's in San Lazaro. You can contact me at 661-1980 yes. and on the link below. below. We're going to put it there and you have Facebook and email. Right. Okay. Thank you, well, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Jerry, you know how we have to finish off the yes, leaves. Mekwego, say it in Maya for me. Kosh, Mekwego Belize. Mekwego Belize, Kosh. Kosh, 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 K